When I was going to introduce David today, I was thinking, how should I do this? And being the son of an economist, I thought about a joke. I thought about um, uh, the old Norwegian Nobel Prize laureate in economics, Ragnar Frisch. He was a man who had several jokes. All of them very educational, all of them with a point to elaborate on. And this joke is about a, a guy who walks down at the harbor. And out in the water, he hears somebody crying for help. This person is crying for help, crying for help. And some of the people on the, on the, uh, on the you know, pier, they say, we'll do something. And then this one guy, he looks around. He sees a wrench and shift nugget. He picks it up and he throws it out and hits the guy on the head. <laughs> uh, this is not a very funny joke. <laughs> but it's a joke about trying to do something and uh, trying to come across as having done something, no matter what it is. And I think this is appropriate to talk about looking into today's uh, topic, uh, looking at, uh, the, for example, the legal status of different narcotics drugs. People are constantly doing something in order to do something. Now, in this context, you, David, you're the guy who comes and tells us that we should look for something that's better than a wrench to throw up. We shouldn't do just something. We should try to do the sensible thing. Maybe we don't have the answers altogether to what to do, but we could do better than a wrench. We could have some more sanity put into some of the decisions we do within the drug abuse field. And you've been in a lot of discussions on this topic, what to do and why to do this, and I hope that when having uh, gone through today, to today's lectures, we will know something more about what would be maybe more sensible ways to act in this complex field. Maybe not having the final answer, but some more sense. 